From Bloomberg News, you're on the inside track with Deirdre Bolton and Eric Shesker. Welcome back to Bloomberg News. Good morning. I'm Deirdre Bolton. I'm John Ehrlichman in for Eric Shasker. We do want to get you caught up. A lot going on this morning. Monday post-Super Bowl. Thank you very much. Speaking of scars, there we have Scarlett Foo out there doing us proud for the world of journalism. While well, the world's best-selling hybrid car may be next. Thanks, Michelle. I like that Betty White was in the Snickers commercial. That was pretty cool. That she's, was pretty good. She's still kicking it. She you know? is still kicking it. Well, coming up next, we're going to go with us. Yeah. Keeping us company. All right, we're back in just two minutes. Yeah. A battle of egos at Hershey may have cost the company the Cadbury Prize. Kraft got it. Monica Bertrand has a little bit more on what happened behind. This is Hershey's story. Yeah. And not the only personalities we're talking about this morning, right? No. CIT. That's our main story, of course. John Thane the right man for the job. Well, one man who thinks so is Sean Egan, president of Egan Jones Ratings. He joins us now on the phone from Philadelphia. Sean, thanks for your time. We heard from Arthur Levitt this morning. He seems to be a fan of Thane as a choice for CIT. You as well. How come? I think the timing is like, you know, we've been talking about the possibility that Thane sells off parts of CIT or sells the entire company. What kind of timeline are you looking at? Well, we're close to the Nadine. On the issue of Wall Street right now, uh, Big bonuses. We got some details. Meantime, though, display ads may be the next billion dollar front seven. Well, you know, Deirdre, I'm sure there are plenty of cities throughout this country that would like to have the kind of money that Google has uh, because of current yeah, low tax bases. Times. Tough decisions have to be made. We're going to be speaking to the mayor of Colorado Springs about what they've been doing because the tax revenue is not coming in, including shutting off the lights in some yeah, examples. Shutting off the lights, so slowing down garbage collection. So we have the mayor on with us at just some of the uh, extremes he's going to to cut costs. We're back in just two minutes. about the size of Colorado local government. I mean, it's the biggest in the year 2009 that it ever was. And during the recession, I mean, there was obviously this huge real estate collapse that affected your area. How is it possible that your staff was at its biggest? Do you feel like that's going to help out uh, for pension concerns, for local employees, the fact that you have been able to make these cuts? I wish you luck. The Colorado Springs mayor, as he said, uh, a lot of towns and cities in this position post-recession. Well, that wraps up this show. Inside track for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. And uh, by the way, stay tuned. We're going to have more on bonuses with the paymaster coming up in the next hour.